Hey everyone, it's your old pal Jesse. Welcome back to the channel. Well, thank you so much for sticking around uh, this long with me. If you stuck around this long with me, you've seen um, part of my cancer journey that I've been going through since, well, the end of August. Um, things are getting better. I've talked with my oncologist. My tumor has shrunk quite a bit. Um, and right now they're just working on getting the the radiation ramped down to where the healthy tissue is not going to be as uh, affected with everything. So, great news on the horizon. I am, let's see, uh, go check my calendar here. I have exactly one so let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more treatments of radiation and one more uh, chemotherapy session to go. Uh, I had my last chemotherapy session on Friday, this last Friday, and um, it hasn't been too bad this time. I've uh, learned a lot in managing, and I'm sorry about the shaky camera, here we go. I've learned a lot about managing all the side effects and symptoms that come with chemotherapy. Um, the main thing is staying up on the nausea medication. Uh, you let that lapse a little bit and you're in trouble. So stay on the nausea meds that they give you. Uh, second thing is, is try to eat as much as you possibly can. I know it sounds counterintuitive when you're nauseous, but uh, it's really going to help your strength and it's going to help your... Um, it's really going to help your mood. Um, so, speaking of mood, let's talk about mood swings. <laughs> oh, if I had a dime for every time my kids called me an a-hole these last three weeks, um, I'd have my cancer treatments paid for. Um, listen to your body. I have uh, been having some issues with a lot of mood swings lately. Um, I'll be fine one minute, the next minute somebody will say something, or some news will come that um, I wasn't aware of. Somebody didn't talk to me about something, or uh, you know, just just stupid family stuff. You know, people forget to communicate certain things and and I'll find myself going off the deep end. And uh, to my family, I apologize. I really do. You guys know that that's not me. I'm very loving and I'm very understanding usually. And I apologize for, for that. So uh, let's talk about a few of the things that you can do to help your mood swings should you start having them. Um, well, number one, breathe. That's the one thing that I've been trying to do um, when unexpected things come, uh, is just breathe. Assess the situation. Is it really something to get upset about? Um, and 99.9% .9 of the time, the answer is no. It's nothing to get upset about. Um, number three, communicate with how you feel about this issue that's just come up. Because uh, I guarantee you that the people that have made these plans or the people that have affected you in this way really didn't think it was going to affect you in this way. Because honestly, this is all on you, more than likely, not on them. Um, number four, I'd say... Uh, hug it out if it gets really escalated which i really hope it doesn't but if it does hug it out um let them know how you feel listen to them and and understand that they probably didn't mean to upset you in in any way 
and um, it should it should work out. But finally, take a nap. Um, I know that I'm like a three-year-old when it comes to this fatigue. This fatigue has been horrendous on me, and if I don't go, to, if I'm not in bed by 7:30 at night, I am a complete and total a-hole, and uh, we don't want that. So listen to your body. Uh, take walks if you're getting real tired. Um, I did notice, um, I, I have noticed that walking around a public place, going out to Costco or running around the mall or just taking a walk out in front of the house just for five, ten minutes uh, does really help the fatigue out and uh, helps me clear my mind and helps me get a little bit better. Uh, so there you go. There's a few tips for you. Um, I have a feeling that this is a rather rambling video, and so I'm going to cut it short. Um, but I do want to say I love you all. I appreciate you all. If you have any comments or concerns, um, please leave them down in the comments below. Um, if you would like to start following me from the beginning, please click up here. No, over here. There we go. I think it's over here. But either way. Um, and I shall talk to you guys soon. Um, a couple things I have planned coming up, just so you know. Um, I'm going to be doing a, an interview with the, the missus to talk about some of the best ways to help cope with caring for someone with this disease. And I'm also going to be uh, sharing some, some thoughts of my children uh, with the mood swings and the uh, things that um, they have to cope with. Because remember, your support group is in it with you and they feel it 150%. And uh, it's always nice to, to have an idea of where they come from and, and what their thought process is and what they see as their reality and their perception. Their perception is their reality. So anyways, I love you guys. I'll uh, let you go. Uh, have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you later.